Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the enigmatic world of black holes. Get ready to uncover the top 10 mysteries of these fascinating cosmic phenomena. You know, when we look out into the vast cosmic ocean, we see things that defy explanation. Black holes, those gravitational behemoths are right up there on the list of cosmic mysteries. They warp space and time, challenge our understanding of physics and maybe, just maybe, hold secrets about the fate of the universe. So buckle up fellow space explorers as we embark on a thrilling journey to the edge of knowledge, where the known meets the unknown, and where the mysteries of black holes beckon us to unravel them. Imagine a boundary in space, not just any boundary, mind you, but a point of no return. That's the event horizon, the region around a black hole where gravity's pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its clutches. Think of it like a cosmic trapdoor. Cross the event horizon and you're committed. There's no turning back. What happens inside? Well, that's where things get really interesting. We can't see beyond the event horizon. It's beyond our current observational capabilities. It's like trying to see through a cosmic curtain. But our theories, like Einstein's theory of general relativity, give us some tantalizing clues. They tell us that as you get closer and closer to a black hole, time itself slows down relative to an outside observer. It's like approaching a cosmic time warp. And at the event horizon, time seems to stand still. But for something falling in, the journey across the event horizon would be a one-way trip to... Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Deep within the event horizon, at the very center of a black hole, our current understanding of physics breaks down. This is the singularity, a point of infinite density where all the matter that ever fell into the black hole is concentrated. Imagine all the mass of a star, or even millions of stars, crushed into a point smaller than an atom. That's the singularity. At the singularity, gravity is so strong that it creates a paradox. Our current laws of physics can't describe what happens there. It's like trying to divide by zero. The universe itself throws up its hands and says, we need a new equation. Some theories suggest that the singularity is a point where space and time cease to exist as we know them. Others propose that it's a gateway to other universes or dimensions. But for now, the singularity remains one of the most profound mysteries in the universe, a place where our current understanding of physics simply collapses. One of the most perplexing mysteries surrounding black holes is the information paradox. Quantum mechanics tells us that information can never be truly destroyed. If you burn a book, the information is still in the smoke, ashes and heat. But black holes seem to break this rule. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's gone. Does it disappear, violating quantum mechanics? Some propose the information is encoded on the event horizon. Others believe black holes release it in a scrambled form. The jury is still out on this one. Black holes, despite their reputation as cosmic vacuum cleaners, aren't entirely black. In the 1970s, physicist Stephen Hawking made a groundbreaking discovery. He predicted that black holes should actually emit a faint radiation, now known as Hawking radiation. This radiation arises from quantum effects near the event horizon. Imagine pairs of virtual particles, constantly popping in and out of existence due to quantum fluctuations. Sometimes, one particle falls into the black hole, while the other escapes into space. The escaping particle carries away a tiny bit of the black hole's energy, causing it to slowly evaporate over time. Hawking radiation is incredibly faint, far too faint to detect with our current technology. So, we know that black holes emit Hawking radiation and slowly evaporate. But what happens when a black hole reaches the end of its life? What happens in its final moments? Well, as a black hole evaporates, it gets smaller and smaller. And as it shrinks, the Hawking radiation actually gets stronger. It's like a dying ember flaring brightly before it goes out. Eventually, the black hole reaches a point where it's incredibly small and incredibly hot. And then, poof, it's thought to explode in a final burst of energy. But here's the thing. We've never actually observed a black hole evaporating. It's a purely theoretical prediction, and it raises more questions than it answers. For example, what happens to all the information that fell into the black hole? Does it get released in the final explosion, or does it disappear forever? These are questions that will keep physicists busy for generations to come. Black holes, despite their destructive power, play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. In fact, 
They're thought to be essential for the formation of galaxies as we know them. Think about it. Galaxies are vast collections of stars, gas and dust, all held together by gravity. But gravity alone can't explain the structure and evolution of galaxies. That's where black holes come in. Most, if not all galaxies, are thought to harbor supermassive black holes at their centers, millions or even billions of times the mass of our Sun. These supermassive black holes act like gravitational anchors, pulling in surrounding gas and stars and influencing the formation of entire galaxies. Their influence doesn't stop there. As matter falls into a supermassive black hole, it heats up and releases enormous amounts of energy, creating powerful jets that can extend for thousands of light years. These jets can influence star formation rates and even shape the surrounding galaxy. Wormholes are one of the most intriguing predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity. They're essentially shortcuts through space-time, connecting two distant points in the universe. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half and poking a hole through it. That hole is a wormhole, connecting two points on the paper that would otherwise be far apart. Now here's where things get really interesting. Some physicists believe that wormholes might be connected to black holes. Remember the singularity, that point of infinite density at the heart of a black hole. Some theories suggest that the singularity might actually be a gateway to another universe or another point in our own universe. And a wormhole might be the tunnel that connects them. But here's the catch. Wormholes are incredibly unstable. They would require exotic matter with negative energy density to keep them open, and we've never actually observed such matter. So for now, wormholes remain purely theoretical, a tantalizing possibility that captures the imagination. Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted that when massive objects accelerate, they create ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves. These waves are incredibly faint, but they carry information about the most energetic events in the universe. In 2015, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, made history by detecting gravitational waves for the first time. The waves came from the collision of two black holes, each about 30 times the mass of our Sun, located about 1.3 billion light years away. This detection was a monumental achievement, confirming Einstein's prediction and opening a new window into the universe. Since then, LIGO and other gravitational wave detectors have detected dozens of black hole mergers, giving us unprecedented insights into these mysterious objects. By studying the gravitational waves from these mergers, we can learn about the masses, spins and other properties of black holes. We can even use them to test Einstein's theory of general relativity in extreme gravitational environments. We've already touched on supermassive black holes, those gravitational behemoths that reside at the centers of galaxies. But the mystery of how these supermassive black holes form is one of the biggest puzzles in astrophysics. These cosmic titans can have masses billions of times greater than our Sun. How did they get so big? That's the million dollar question, or perhaps the billion solar mass question. One theory suggests that they formed from the collapse of massive clouds of gas in the early universe. Another proposes that they grew by merging with other black holes over billions of years. But the details of their formation remain elusive. It's like trying to piece together a puzzle with some of the pieces missing. And here's another intriguing twist. Some supermassive black holes seem to have formed incredibly early in the universe, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Black holes, with their extreme gravitational pull and enigmatic singularities, have sparked countless speculations. One captivating idea is that they might be portals to other universes. Imagine a black hole as a cosmic doorway, a passage through space-time to another realm. Some physicists believe the singularity could be a point where our laws of physics break down, connecting our universe to another. Others propose black holes might be connected by wormholes, theoretical shortcuts through space-time. If so, a black hole could be a gateway to a distant part of our universe, or even another universe altogether. But let's be clear, the idea of black holes as portals is highly speculative. We have no direct evidence to support it. But it's a tantalizing possibility, fueling our imagination and reminding us of the vast unknown. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating content about the universe. See you next time. Remember, 
Black holes are just one of the countless mysteries that the universe holds. So keep exploring, keep asking questions and keep looking up at the stars. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered and who knows what incredible secrets we might unravel next.